When people ask where I'm from, I don't tell them Germantown. I tell them Valley View um, because it's more than just where you're from. It's more, it's who makes your community what it is. And Valley View is not a place. I have to explain this to a lot of people from other schools. It's not a place, it's a community of people and it's a school. It's so much more than just a place. This is home. You know, this is, this is where we want to be. When I graduated from college, I can go anywhere I want to. Came back to my hometown because I love it. I own a technology company that's based out of Austin, Texas, but I chose to stay here and live in Germantown and I travel for work and stuff. You know, when we moved back to Ohio, we had a decision on where we wanted to live and, and we knew a lot of the school districts around the Miami Valley. I actually work down in Cincinnati, so uh, coming back this far north was, was quite a challenge for me and a drive daily, but um, we're really comfortable with the community and, and where uh, Valley View was and also with the school district and its performance. It's, it's a really good performing school district. And so we moved back, my daughter was just getting started in the first grade. And so um, we've been here for you know several years and, and uh, enjoy the community, but uh, we didn't realize how tough it was right now with the, with the school district and the levy and things not passing over the last four years. So we've had conversations um, at our house about the levy and you know what, what goes on if it passes, what it doesn't. I think the fear for you know my sons are their friends are going to move away. Um, you hear like, well, if you know Valley View doesn't offer this class or this class, or there's no sports, then they're going to go somewhere else. That does so naturally as a kid that generates some some real fears. But I would love to take that anxiety or stress away from my six and nine year old. I worry about some of the children today and some of them that I had taught in the past uh, because I don't. I think they, different children need different help with doing well in school. The people don't realize that um, all of our children need a fair chance, you know, and if some of these cuts are made, it, it, it breaks my heart that we can't offer them 100% of what they need. Unfortunately, I feel like, to be completely honest, at best we're treading water right now. Um, and really, I kind of feel like we're starting to spiral the wrong direction. It's just a very slow thing. Think about like a big funnel. And you know, it's almost like what you see at Sam's Club. You drop the penny in there and at the top, it just moves really slow. And you can't, it's not that fast. But as it gets closer and further down the funnel, it just gets faster and faster and faster and it gets out of control and you can't, you can't control it anymore. And I feel like that's the direction we're heading if we don't step up and, and pass this levy and get on the right side of it. A post failed levy Valley View is a very scary thought for me because We've seen other schools go through similar situations where they've, they've continually failed levies and they've cut activities, they've cut all the assets that made their school what it was, and they aren't very strong. Uh, people don't want to send their kids there. People aren't proud to say that they're from there. And I want to be proud to say I'm from Valley View. I want the future children of this community to say they're proud to be a Spartan. and. Um, it makes me so sad to think that one day Valley View will be known as not a very good school to go to or it might be seen as a burden on the students that attend it. The fact that we don't have facilities that allow us to really give the students all we can, again, to prepare them as they move out into the next chapters of their lives, puts our children at at a deficit. Um, I had some grads come back and talk to me probably in the last month and a half and they are some of the best and brightest even in comparison to any other school district that I can think of. They're just wonderful young people and they felt technologically unprepared. I think passing this levy not only strengthens the community, um, I just remember you know, growing up in the 90s, uh, you, you drove around and you see blue and white and streamers and, and there was just a great sense of pride. And, and I, I still feel that, I see it, I'm, I'm with parents and students and, and kids five days a week as a coach. Um, so having everyone come together for not just, we're not really looking out for ourselves anymore as, as parents and adults, but it's really what's best for the students. Um, so anything we can do as a community to give them all the advantages, not only says a lot about our community members, but it really says how much we truly value our future students.
I grew up here. I know just about everybody that grew up here as well. And I know a lot of us stayed. I know a lot of people left and came back. I also know that I share a lot of the same memories that all those people do. Our kids and the future kids that are gonna come through this district deserve to have the same memories and deserve to have the same fun that we did. I just want people to understand that I really want you to think about set all your differences aside and just think about the beautiful thing we have here. You don't agree with everybody and that's okay. I still value every single person. And I hope that they can look into this with an open mind as let's keep this community beautiful, strong, and the family that it's been. Because that is truly, truly priceless.